Hello there, Internet. I am Psycho Jacob. I am your YouTube music man. Many of you have been seeing a video that I made in a cover of Rob Zombie's Werewolf Baby, and many of you have been asking me to show you how to play that song. Well, I'm not much of a teacher, but I'll go ahead and show you how I play it. But before I get started, please make sure to like, subscribe, and if you ever have a song you want me to play for you, just leave a request down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. But for now, here's how I played Rob Zombie's Werewolf Baby. Alright, now let's start with that. That one's a little bit basic. I learned this song by playing by ear, so if you need to stop the video and take a closer look, go right ahead, I don't mind. But let's start with the intro. If you take a closer look at my frets, you can see it starts with A, goes to B flat, back to A, goes to C, slide down to A, back to B flat, and that's how you do the intro. Now for part two of the intro. Now that part's a little tricky, but the best way I figured out to do that is to start at A and play every chord, bar chord, down till you get to C, then go back to A, like this. Or you can start it from way up here, as, it, as you can hear in the audio. That way is much easier. You can either go this way, or this way. Starting at the 12th fret, the bar chord at the 12th fret, a high-pitched A. All you do is play every bar chord from high-pitched A or regular A bar chord all the way down to C. Then once you play the C, you go back to A. Now for part three of the intro. Now, what you heard there is the basic rhythm of the song that you hear through the chorus. It's just a simple A, C, G. Those are the chords you'll be playing. A, C, A, G, A, C, A. Like this. Let me slow that down for you. Let me come a little closer. A, C, A, G, C, A, simple as that. Then you do that straight bar chord, or part of the second, second part of the intro again, starting at a high pitch 12 bar, high pitch A bar chord, or regular A bar chord. Now part four of the intro. Now that part's basically simple. All you do is play string one and two starting on the third fret. And slide it up to the fifth fret. All you do is try to match Rob's vocals in the chorus. Because that's all we'll hear in the second part of the chorus. It goes like this. So you start with three, as you're playing the first two strings. You start on three, slide it up to five. 
slide it down to three again. Then you want to, then after you do that three times, you want to bring that up to a fret eight. Just like that. Watch closely. Now you're going to be playing that through the chorus when Rob is singing. Now let's get to the verse. You really don't hear a guitar in that part. That's a piano playing. But if you don't have a piano player, then you can have your rhythm guitar player, or if you don't have rhythm, any guitar player can play this part. This would be the basic part for each verse in this song. All you want to do is palm mute A. And then you want to bring that up to C. the verse. Now let's get to the chorus. Now that sounds a little bit like the second part of the intro, but it does not start on A. It starts on E flat or D sharp. It goes from um, D sharp to D to C sharp. No, scratch that. From D sharp to D to C to B, back to C, and A. I'll play that again. D sharp, D, C, B, C, A. I'll go over the way the song goes. All you do is play the third part of the chorus again. The A, A, C, A, G, A, A, C, A. That's basically the first half of the chorus. Now let's get to the second part of the chorus. Remember the final part of the chorus of the intro that I showed you? It's the same thing. All you do is match your guitar with Rob singing. You play the first two strings, start on three, slide up to five, do that three times, and then play right on the eight, like this, again. the second part of the chorus. You do that for each chorus in this song. Now that little funky part right there right before the verse, that's a little tricky. It goes like this. It's basically 
E the lead E ladder for fa for the A for the D chord. Like that. But you want to start right here on the third string on fret nine. Third string, fret nine. Then go stay, stay on the same string then play fret seven. Then go one string down to string four on the same fret, fret seven. Then slide it up to fret ten. Then for the second part of that, just do the same thing. Third, third string, fret nine. Then down to fret seven. Fourth string, fret seven. And go to the fourth string, fret five. So it's like this. And that's basically the whole song. So I'm gonna go over the, over the first, the intro, the verse, and chorus again. Just pay close attention and remember all what I showed you. You get a little closer so you can see where my fingers go. back and watch this video watch parts of this video again go right ahead the best way to learn this song is to learn by ear get yourself one of those plug-in amplifiers here's that you can attach your earbuds to or headphones I have a Vox mini amp thing that can plug into my guitar I can plug in my headphones wrap it around my head I can plug in my auxiliary cord or and play along to a song I'm listening to that's how I learned how to play this song. I learned it by ear. ear. But if this helps you in any way, I was glad to do it. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, I'll leave a like. Please subscribe. And if you have any requests at all, leave it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Seku Jacob's in introduction and teaching, basically of how to play Rob Zombie's Werewolf Baby. Take what I taught you, go forth and rock.